Okay, folks, it's time to talk turkey. <laughs> time to get the turkey wreath done. I have a 1524 orange frame here that I got from Craft Outlet. And I have this orange and green plaid, and it's a fabric mesh that I got from Craft Outlet also. I'll share the number again with you. Let me get the glasses so I can see what the number is. It is XB985-19. XB985-19. Then I have Tom or Thomasia, however we would like to call. Uh, he's got, he, she has got arms also, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. Uh, I'll show you one in a second. Now, how did I get that all wrapped around a cord? <laughs> Hold on, we'll get there. There's one and two. So we're going to start with the wreath and we're going to do a poof wreath. We haven't done a poof in a while. So I'm going to start by opening up these, see if I can get a little more light on the subject. Okay, opening up the outside ones. Just makes it easier to get them in. Okay, now this, I got the camera, I hope, at a good angle. Uh, for this part, I'm sure, when we start to work with the turkey, it's so big, it's going to be going sideways, so I'll probably have to slide it back and forth in order to get it in the camera frame. So I'm going to start with my mesh. And this time, I don't have a mesh roller here yet. So I'm just going to drop this over the side of the table. Okay? And I'm going to start by gathering it up like we always do. This is 21 inch mesh. Okay, and I'm going to just go down, I think I'll go down right here by this bar. No, I think I want to go right in front of one of these ties. Okay, so I'll go right here. Okay. When I bring it over, I'm going to zip tie it to one of the frame one of the uh, pieces of frame doesn't really make a difference which one. And we'll go back later and trim these. So now I have my mesh attached. Now what I'm going to do is skip this one and do it on the way back, okay? So I'm going to start by going at about 10 inches, and I'll tell you a secret of doing this. If you don't know your 10 inches, now I have a mat in front of me, I can use that, but I'm going to put it in this one right here, okay? But I'm going to go over to the next one, put my hands there, and then bring it back to this one. And that gives you about 10 inches, and even if it's not exactly 10 inches, if you do it that way, They're all about the same. Okay. Over to the next one and bring it back. And you make sure you're keeping the raw edges underneath so you can put your hands inside here and get a nice poof out. Okay, 
One, two, and back. Isn't this pretty mesh? And this is fabric mesh. Now I don't think that's going to be very outdoorsy, but this wreath is not going outdoors. One, two, and back. I hope everybody had a good Halloween. We managed to not eat all the candy before the kids came. <laughs> and the kids are out trick-or-treating. And it was snowing. And we ended up with about two inches of snow. The first snow I had seen in, golly, 38 years, I guess. And it's all gone now. Everything's just nice and green. It was just a teaser, I guess. But I guess there were quite a few places in the country that had snow or have and still are having it. Keeping my raw edges under the bottom on the bottom. Over to the second one and back to the other one. And you can see that these poofs are all pretty uniform. It's a lovely day here today. It's in the 50s, I guess. Of course, that's still cold for us, but let's not get overboard here. Let me fix my roll. Oh, it's going bonkers. Okay. Now, I'm back to, this is my first one. So I'm going to go over to the first one. And then come back to the one I skipped. Okay, now I'm just going to go upstairs with this. But first I'm going to open these. Now there's one right above me. I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to go to the next one. Sorry, I had ties from everywhere. same thing. I'm going to go past this first one over to the second one. Okay? And then bring it back to the first one. This mesh is very nice to work with because it's soft on your hands. Raw edges underneath. Going past the first one, over to the second one, and then back. The 
at that. Is that nice and poofy? first one over to the second one and come back. That's the first one over to the second one and come back. the first over to the second and back. Oh, look at this. Look at how puffy. Beautiful. Raw edges underneath. Over to the second one and I'm coming back. And this is the one I skipped, I think, yep, so over to the one we started with and then come back to this one. Isn't that beautiful, huh? Now I'm just going to cut it off here. I give myself, I always give myself a little extra. <clears throat> I'm going to bring it down through. attach it to one of the frames. That noise is my phone telling me my groceries were just delivered. But my husband is going to get them out of the car or he's going to have them bring in, brought in. We're just going to trim these. Go. 
Look at that. Isn't that something, huh? Wow. Wow. I have to tell you, <clears throat> I love ruffle wreaths. I love bubble wreaths. But these poofs are really make a statement, don't they? Now, let's see what we're going to do with this character. We're going to start with the head. And we're just going to put the head at the top here somewhere. He has wires. Let me just close this out. Sorry. And I'm going to go down through these ruffles, find the frame. These wires are um, quite stiff. Now, on the bottom, we'll put the legs. Let me make sure the legs are coming out from where the head is. And you, can you see how stiff these wires are? See here. One here and one. I'm trying to get one on both sides of the frame so that I can tighten it. Okay, we got one. Okay, so now we have a head and legs and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a big bow and put that right in the middle. Alright, so I'm going to move this out of the way and get the ribbons together to make the bow and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to use the bow maker this time. I've got four or five ribbons here. I have this brown fringe ribbon, which is kind of cute. Okay, I have one that's got pine cones on it. I have a plaid. This one is really pretty. All the fall colors. And then this one is another type of plaid. Well, it's actually more stripes than plaid. So we're going to use all of these and see what we come up with. And 
I might have to, well, I'll do it afterwards. I was going to say I'm going to have to get a different zip tie. I don't think I have any long enough to go around a ribbon this size. So let's start with this brown. And I'm going to leave right now about an 8 inch um, tail because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with a good six inches, maybe six and a half. And I don't have to turn this one. Going back out to the same. I'm going to do three and three. Now we can have one here, one here, one here, one here. Okay. So now I think I'll do, we'll do this one. I'm going to come in a little bit. Not too much, but when you're working with inch and a half ribbon, you have to remember, now I'm about an inch and a half smaller. You have to remember that you can't get too long with the inch and a half ribbon because it will just flop, even if it's wired. So you want to be careful. I'm going to do two and two on this one. for another wide one and we're going to do two and two on this one now this one I definitely have to turn let me unroll some if you unroll it it makes it a lot easier to I'm going out the same width as the smaller one um, makes it easier to use if you t if you get some of it off the roll and we'll do two and two here doing so far here. Well, 
one more narrow. Well, no, we'll do this and we'll put the narrow on the top. And this again is one I have to turn. And I'm going to do one and one with this. No, I think I'll do two and two with this and one and one with the last one. This is pretty. I want to have more of it. Okay, one more. This one we'll just do one and one. All right, I'm going to shut you off for just a minute because I need to get a longer zip tie. There we go. Now I'm going to do it just enough to hold it together so I can take it out of here. Now, I'm going to pinch these together as much as I can. While I'm doing that, I'm bringing this around to the back. And I'm going to tighten it a little more. And then I'm going to put a piece of wire. And now I'm going to tighten it as much as I can. Here you go. And I have a lot of um, ends to cut later, but we'll get those cut. Now let's get these open. And now when I open them, I'm going to twist them. Kind of breaks the threads a little bit so, so they're more easily manipulated. Wow, it's kind of hard to get your fingers in with this, this little pieces. There we go. Now we're going to go with, what did I do next? Oh, this one here.
to the ears, I'm going to just do a slant. Okay, now what we're going to have to do, let me find the other piece of my wire. Let's get this on the wreath and then put it in the right place. So let's get this off the table. Thought I did. Hold on. Oh, I know what was the problem. I didn't have one on one side and one on the other. This time. Okay, let's see what we can do here. How's it looking? I think pretty good. I don't want this up in the face. I think these up here I might trim because I don't want it to hit the head. Looking good to me. Now I'm going to have to hold it up a little bit so I can see. Now it's going to put a pumpkin on, but you know, it's so poofy. I hate to take the poofiness away. So I'm going to hang it up in the door for us to look at. And if I think I need to add a little bit more things to it, I will. But it's looking pretty good right now. And I tell you what, I don't think I'm putting the hands on. I don't think they're necessary. So let me get it down to this table. I'll take a picture of it and we'll sh share what it looks like together. There you go. My goodness, I think it came out fantastic. And it's big. I'm backed up quite a bit. 
We can zoom in. Maybe. And you can see it's such a nice poof. Well, the good old turkey made it through the hurricane and everything. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and the bell. You'll be notified whenever we come out to play. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great afternoon or morning or whatever time of day it is. And I'll see you Sunday with Cook for Me. Cook with me. See you then. Until then, everybody, play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.